This is James Comic on the back. Welcoming you viewers all back for another half-assed production. We're gonna run out and look at a Eric Saul show at ATM Gallery. This is never enough. Oil on canvas, 65 by 51. I just uh, stopped in here and uh, really liked what uh, Eric is doing with the paint, so I uh, highlight a few of these. It's really got quite a uh, wide uh, vernacular of paint handling and things he's doing here. This is called gutted 64 by 51. Got a lot of thick slabs of paint here. I like this kind of treatment, that's great. This is Joy Rebellion. between the very thin, transparent washes coming down to some very, very thick, chunky body color. Nice, nice contrast. This is chemical reaction. 36 by 40. There's some nice color things going on with this. Also the, uh, the loose gestural hand strokes and the more austere masked geometric forms is nice. This is icy hot. So that's a quick run through solid liquid at ATM Gallery paintings of Eric Sal. West 19th Street. David Swinner. I'm going to take a quick run through of Daniel Richter. So, the title of this show is The Idealist in the Idealists. And here in the front gallery, we've got a series of his drawings. Let's look like mixed media. Maybe oil and graphite on paper. This is untitled. These are all oil on paper. This is the idealist in 141 by 97 inches. Well, he's also known for his kind of free for all paint handling use of uh, bold colors. He's got a lot of fluorescence in here. He does use a lot of different techniques using brooms and huge brushes staining, dripping, pouring. And I think he probably does a certain amount of projection. This is titled Introspection 2008. And 
you can see we've got people lugging their guitars over mountain landscape. Now I guess Richter sort of came out of the Berlin punk rock scene and was involved in a lot of the rock and roll squats there. Some of the performances that they did. This particular piece is as light and atmospheric as a uh, Casper David Friedrich or even a Milton Avery with his washes of transparent color. This is almost decorative. This is popcorn. 110 by 137. And here he really bumps up the color. You can see the brilliant oranges and fluorescent greens. A lot of dripping and splashing. This is a nifty little compositional device. He's duplicated these group of figures in a smaller format. He sort of flipped them horizontally and repeated the same grouping. This is titled Reflect. 90 by 114. Oh boy. This is like a rock concert for the zombies. So that's a quick run through. Danny Richter, the idealist in David Zwerner. Boy, I saw this, I couldn't resist it. Let's take a run in it. Land of Vague Fine Arts. This is B Busted Atlas 2, 1982. Well, I believe I remember when he had this show at the Fun Gallery. Oh, this is great stuff. I remember when I showed this originally at Tony Shafrazi. I was walking by in front of this gallery about a week ago and ran into Rick Prohl who was Seamus so Basquiat's assistant at the end of his life, and he said that he worked on this piece. This is great, now you can really get a chance to see the, the Warhol versus the Basquiat editions. This is just oil stick. This is Felix the Cat. Acrylic silk screen ink, oil stick on canvas, 115 by 160 inches. Now, this might have been one of the great collaborations in art in New York City and maybe one of the most productive collaborations since Picasso and Brock, although maybe not. So you can see the silk screen and the very flat painting against Basquiat's oil stick drawing. So that's Warhol and G. Michel Basquiat and collaboration paintings. At Van de Vig Fine Art. Thanks, Kate.